Hey, welcome to this video about my 1962 GMC civil defense truck. If you're wondering what civil defense was, they basically were the volunteer corps that would come and pick you up or try to rescue you if the big one dropped. God forbid. They were kind of phased out when FEMA came along. So this is a real artifact of the Cold War. And what makes it kind of unique is this was with a police station for 40 years of service. So it was maintained and kept garaged. And most of these 4x4 panel trucks from GMC were commercial use. Most people didn't buy four-wheel drive back in the early 60s. So most of them got abused in commercial surface. And as you can see, this one survived quite well. It is completely unmolested. It is all original, unrestored. So it's got lots of little, you know, there's a little bit of rust here, but no perforation because it was garaged. And uh, I have actual photographs that I found online of it when my dad was at auction purchasing it. I can, I'm going to throw those up along with photos of it at the police station when it was in service and you can see all the lettering is still on the side, which is kind of neat to have that providence going with the truck. So I think it'll take a walk around and show you some of the details and some of the artifacts left by the police department. All right, let's do that. So one of the first things, if you look closely, it takes a little second look that uh, you might notice is <laughs> this is a CMG truck, not a GMC. So go figure. Um, it would have taken a little work to get that reversed and I'm kind of suspicious that it might've just happened at the factory because uh, the photos, the vintage photos that I flipped up show it in this condition at the police department. A lot of people think, oh, that's because uh, that's how it looks in the rear view mirror. No, that would have been mirrored. This is actually just the C and the G is swapped around. So I don't know, go figure. That'd be a good thing to try to figure out why. Well, of course it came factory stock with this crazy PTO wench, which will is the proverbial stump puller. And it runs directly off a drive shaft to the transfer case. And then you have up here, oversized bumper with hooks and even a ball uh, hitch up front. Let's open the hood and look underneath. Well, here we are looking at a 305 V6 GMC engine. Apparently these were designed for commercial purposes. I heard the blocks about 800 pounds on these things. It's a monster for a V6. And uh, you can kind of see they commercialized. They even had uh, a pretty oversized water pump. If you look up ads on this engine, vintage ads, they brag about how much water they could run through the engine. They also kind of brag about it being thrifty to the point where they <laughs> filled some kind of stereotype about the um, Scottish, apparently. They put uh, plaid valve covers on some of these, the, the non-commercial engines. And uh, so go figure, I don't think it's very economical at all. I would be surprised if I get like 15 miles a gallon, probably more like 12 or something. The work I did to this motor, I uh, rebuilt the carburetor, did the typical things, points and plugs, the wires, rotor, cap, I did rebuild the brakes. I put in a new master cylinder as well as all the slave cylinders on all the wheels and the clutch slave cylinder. Um, in the back and the rear end, I replaced the uh, seals because they were leaking after it came back from the police department. I think it had been sitting so long. And one of the wheel bearings was making a little noise and I replaced that. But otherwise, you know, other than that sub panel and upgrading the main wiring to the overhead auxiliary lighting, it's all original. And uh, let's turn it over. see it starts pretty well it's uh, barely warmed up there's nothing on the temperature gauge yet but I have started a couple times to bring it out here into the driveway but uh, it runs really smooth it's got a, uh, a definitely a v6 rhythm to it one that I've never heard can rev it up a little there you go it's got the old oil bath filter there of course, I changed the oil in my oil bath. There is the original paint codes, I'm assuming, drawn on the underside of the hood and some numbers on the firewall as well that you can see. Now there's even labels on some of the wiring back there that still have full readable numbers. All right go somewhere else. 
So it has a fully operational siren. The kids love that, although you do not use that in public situations. It's strictly for emergency personnel. And then there's the rotating lights, a PA speaker, and then four-way flashers on the roof. And uh, it's got the civil defense logo is still in prime shape. And yet you can see, sure, there's a little bit of rust in the rockers there, but you know, it's actually in amazing shape. In fact, we'll go over here to the wheels, which are unusual. They're 17 and a half. What makes it a little bit tough to find tires for. I actually got new tires thinking that I didn't want old tires on it. Turns out the old tires were fine and I have those still with the vehicle because they're so hard to find. And uh, these are from vintagetire.com and they're a military tread. But if you look underneath, I mean, the rust is, is what you would expect from a 12,000 mile car or 15,000 mile car. There's even still paint back here. And uh, everything's in great shape. A little bit, of, you know, there's surface rust, of course, because it was a Minnesota truck. But no holes. And, okay, so let's do a little tour inside. This is, again, all original. This is how it came from the police department. I will say one thing. The wiring up here was really subgrade as far as the gauge. So there's a lot of amperage going to all these lights because these are all incandescent. So you could upgrade those with LEDs, but I kind of wanted to leave it, you know, the color temperature of incandescent, even though things have gotten better on LEDs. But anyway, I upgraded all the wiring to be a much heavier gauge. And I put a sub panel in, a marine sub panel on the firewall, which uh, is so that anything accessories can be added without getting into the wiring harness. So here's your dash. Everything works in here beautifully. All the gauges, lighting. You've got unmarked <laughs> choke, windshield wipers, and lights. You have a four-way flasher. It still has the tag on it for the roof flashers. And then you can also run the roof flashers as a turn signal with this, was added on. Of course, the regular turn signals. They have the sticker for the last time they did maintenance at the police station, which was 11,000 something 33. And then you've got your PTO control here for in and out and neutral. And then floodlights on the roof, which you got left side, rear, and right side floodlights. And of course, heater, everything works. And my wife's favorite placard, just because of the word, tire pressure for rubble. This is actually called out in the invoice, the addition of that placard, which is kind of interesting. So, and then, you know, you have all the uh, thing, the labels for how to run the PTO winch and the uh, transfer case. The only thing kind of weird in here, non-original, is the boot on this transfer case is, doesn't look right at all. So, but it is all the original mats and the upholstery is all original, no tears in it. It's kind of amazing. And then, you know, you've got the overhead lights all work and... Uh, Wood floor and back is really in good shape for considering what it is. The only casualty is a little sacked where the driver is, of course. You've got yourself, if we climb up on the roof and you've got these grab bars, you've got yourself a body litter up here. And of course, if you, if you have too many bodies, you've got the old stretchers in here. There's two of them in here, so you can Grab your bodies or your friends that have been through it for some reason. And then there's the uh, extension ladder that weighs a ton because it's hardwood. It is definitely seen better days. When my dad had it, he stored this rack outside. So well, that's galvanized on some areas. Other areas got some surface rust and stuff. We'll look in the back here. The jerry cans are new because it didn't come with any, but the racks for it are original. And they also have this uh, cool stock welded to the frame multiple size and type of hitch with the wiring never used it so then you look inside you still have the uh, designations for color codes for the different ropes so here's the deal that i changed on the spec that is not original there used to be a wall between the front and the back of the storage area and in the front there were two facing benches with cushions on them so i guess jump seats for crew I took those out. I still have everything that goes back in here. They were just held in with sheet metal screws. And I took the wall out because the truck was just much more useful to have the storage area. So I like haul wood and stuff in it. But you can see the, the pattern of where the boxes were on the floor and such that I have. And uh, you know, the overhead. 
lighting, everything works great. And uh, doors all close nice. You can even take a look underneath. Uh, let's see here. Still looking pretty shiny on things. Of course, I cleaned it, but and got the spare. This is the tires that I have a full set of. They're just road tires. They're a little wider than these military style that I bought that are new. Okay, kind of completing our walk around here. And uh, the only other thing I thought I'd show you, which come in the passenger side, you can flip this seat forward. And you can see under here, we still have the original jack, which seems grossly undersized for this vehicle. It's 4,000 to 5,000 pound vehicle. And the tire iron, but that's the stuff that came with it. And of course over here, because it was a police department owned this vehicle, you've got the original station codes and stuff, channels. And inside you've got the service coupon book and you've got the owner's manual and you've got the police service book with, and, and all the notes. These are the notes I made on the service that was done on the vehicle since I've had it. Okay. So there is the tour. Now if you stay on, I'll throw on the video of driving this thing around. A little drive-by shot. There's a, there's a cold start that shows how little it smokes. In fact, it doesn't really smoke at all when you start it. It sure smells like the chokes on, of course. It's old school, but um, hope you enjoyed watching this and a little slice of history here. Thanks a lot. Okay, short drive. truck definitely drives like a truck this is not some fancy new cushy wheelbarrow this is the original truck drive Play in the street. 